Are you struggling to figure out how to keep your kids off their phones and tablets this summer? Ooh, it's a tough one. It is. Uh, and this News Hub original Jay Jarvis explains how you can put them on a screen time diet this summer. Digital technology has its pros. It's a great way in some ways to to talk and communicate with your friends or like us or our family who are out of town. And cons for parents like mom of three, Holly Boykin. But at the same time, it can be all consuming. And it can also be dangerous. We see that kids that sit down and are in front of the screen more often or not are more obese, have a more sedentary lifestyle, which predisposes them to long-term and chronic health conditions such as heart disease or diabetes. How does Dr. Joseph Osterman suggest you get your kids to put down their phones and tablets? The first thing that I recommend that parents do is monitor their child's activity online, especially now that school's ending and getting into the summer. Uh, there's going to be a lot more time and a lot more downtime that kids have. Then talk to your kids about the dangers of too much screen time and develop a schedule of activities for them. Oh, I first offered chores. <laughs> Actually, that was the first thing I offered to them. Get the whole family involved. We try to have game nights where it's actually playing like, I hate to say this, old school games like Monopoly and things like that. And set limits because screens are here to stay. The way that our society has developed, screens are part of our life, whether it comes through the education, our jobs, or part of our families. And so it's our job to sort of manage those expectations and really set the parameters around it. Jay Jarvis, News 5.